Hello everyone. I wanted to to kind of show you guys a little bit of a secret that I found as to uh, pretty much uh, a, a way to to still have your your vessels powered by RTGs, but not have to kind of stick them out on the side. Um, you notice that uh, this this vessel doesn't have any solar panels or anything or batteries for that matter, but it's still fully charged. Um, that's because there is an RTG in here, but uh, I got it hidden someplace safe and special. Uh, so I'm going to take you guys to the vehicle assembly building and kind of show you all how that works. Okay, so normally when you're placing an RTG, um, it uh, it's only going to surface attach, so there's only so many places you can put them. I mean, you can put them up on top or anything like that, but usually you end up having to stick them on the side, and as a result, in order to balance things out, you have to put multiples of them, you know, just to uh, make sure that your craft isn't going to be off-center. Um, so I found something after, you know, playing the game for a long time that, uh, that kind of helps to, uh, to, to solve this, this dilemma of what, where to put the RTG. Um, if you kind of separate these two halves, you can stick this in here. Um, now this is a little cheaty because you have to turn the part clipping on, but, uh, I like to just take that and then just collapse this right there. And there you go. Uh, this does have several advantages, uh, including the fact that you only have to have one RTG instead of having multiples, which saves you on weight, um, considering the fact that uh, one RTG is usually enough to power, uh, you know, if you're, if you're, unless you're doing anything electricity intensive like mining or uh, using ion engines, you know, one RTG is usually pretty much enough to uh, power multiple probe cores and that kind of thing. So. But, uh, yeah, something I've been doing for a little bit of time here. Uh, figured I'd share it with you guys. Uh, hope you like it.